as we have been doing. Yep, we are now recording. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, agenda. All right. So we'll start with public forum. I don't see any members of the public here. No. Move to the minutes of the September 9th meeting. Uh, Judy sent them out, I think, a week or two ago. Has anybody mm -hmm. had a chance to review them? Mm -hmm. Want to proceed with them? Any changes? Anybody want to make a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve the October I'll second. agenda. I'll second. I second that motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's done. The item three, I've com commission members and structure. Uh, there's been some, I don't know if it's politics or confusion or what we'll call it over this past month about whose terms are have expired and whose seat should have changed to a different party seat and high level I think we have it straightened out uh, but I there might be more actions needed at the next meeting we might have to kind of restructure uh, we're waiting for official word from the parties or the selectmen if we have to revote into like chairman, vice chair, treasurer. Uh, I'm not going to proceed with anything until I receive official written word from one of them. Uh, my understanding, my understanding is the uh, the Republican Democratic nomination commissions are meeting uh, to approve Ed's reappointment to the Guilford Shellfish Commission and the appointment of Mike Bowen. Uh, to our open alternate position. Uh, that was, it's an interesting dynamic because with the last town vote, uh, turning town control over to the Democrats, political process does dictate that the commissions would be majority Democrat. We petitioned both parties, given the nature of shellfish that the members of this commission have specialized skills, they, 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 they're boaters, they know the water, uh, we, we do water samples, we do stocking. Based upon the constitution of the members of the commission and Mike's nomination to join us, uh, and by the way, he's already been active doing um, water testing, uh, both parties, Republican and Democratic, agreed uh, to proceed with, with Ed's reappointment as a Republican to this, and Mike Bowen is also a Republican, so we will be somewhat unique this will be voted on tomorrow. We expect approval. Um, and I think that's a good representation of the conversations I know at least I've been involved in uh, to, to try to get this resolved. So basically, we think it's everything going to stay as is. There will be more probably at the next meeting. We have to, for technicalities, do a vote or, or renomination motion type activity to keep people where they are. But I just wanted to let people know that things were a little screwy for a bit kind of thing. And we don't know who's pushing anything like that, but we think we got it all straightened out. All right, good. Oh, that yes. sounds good. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next item is, I don't have the agenda up. Oh, here it comes. commercial activity and licenses. Uh, there's been no, nothing going on with this. I think Peter and I should sit down in the next month uh, or two so we can get the bills out for December 1st. Uh, so we can prepare the bills for the next meeting, have them approved by the commission and then we can set them out for the beginning of December. I think how that'll be working. And then we can move to bills and correspondence. 
on that last point, I, I would add that you and I might discuss responsibilities for the collection of our um, our, um, our residential licenses. We we did we did miss some collections this month because of people's unavailability. We probably want to get a better structure in place so we can collect on a timely basis. Well, this is for commercial. We'll bring that up for recreational. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Thanks. Well, definitely. I have that as a note to bring up for recreation. So now bills and correspondence. Very good. So for the month of October, we have uh, Schweitzer. We were down to one bin on Trolley Road. We had a prior amount due plus uh, a, a bill for the remainder of this year. So the total is $354. Bob Berger, uh, water samples, $68.96. Printing expense, I think, Judy, this was something you had um, arranged, $25.46. Secretarial services, Judy, $71. Data entry, Nancy Natsiowski, $53.25. Uh, gas, Browns Boatyard, $60.32. Another gas bill from Browns. $39.36. Warden fees, Fred Hill, $80. Warden fees, Alan Brown, $760. I did mention to Alan last month um, a reminder about our budget. Uh, and then with this submission, I've reminded him again that you know, we should minimize it, um, the activity. I mean, they, they, the report I got from Alan was there's, there's very few um, very few people uh, shell fishing a trolley these days. So we, we do want to, you know, scale that back rather dramatically. So the total amount is $1,512 and 35 cents. Uh, picture of a bill from Chris Walston. Did you get that? I might have missed that. Let me take a uh, quick look. I texted it to you. I can resend it right now. Yep, hold on. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Hold on, please. No, okay, no problem. I have an additional $3,317. So that would total out. Thank you for correcting that. No, no problem. The total um, for payables this month is $4,829.35. That's talking to what we had approved at the last meeting. I think we had approved up to 6,000 and it came in around 3,200 right. so far. Mm -hmm. We may try and do another stocking if Chris is available. If not, we'll wait till spring. Um, hey, Peter. Is there any way you yep. can resend the link to Bob? I got it. I'm here. Oh, okay. I just yeah, I just found my way in somehow. I don't know. I'm here. All right. I just saw your text. So. That's right. So we were at building correspondence, and people have given the total. I don't know if somebody wants to make a motion, or if anybody has questions on any of them. Motion to accept the bills as submitted. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, did anybody else have any correspondence with anybody? No. Okay. We'll move on to warden's reports. Uh, I guess, Peter, I'll kind of bow to you on this since I know you've had to at least talk to Alan. Yeah, Alan indicated to me that there's only been a couple of shell fishers down the trolley road and any given day, um, you know, that's I, I kind of give him counsel to scale back the, the hours that we're doing, uh, you know, monitoring usage at trolley. There were no events that he reported to me. All right. Um, I guess with that, some of the other wardens had mentioned they had kind of uh, already toned back their uh, 
patrols, uh, both one with le less uh, clamors around and two, they were worried about the budgeting on their own. They had kind of noticed things and wanted to, they didn't want to break the bank kind of thing. So they had toned back. They Two of them actually came together and discussed it with Bob and I when we were going out on a water sample or stocking run. So how oh, close to them are. kind of the same thing that yeah it's a slower time of the year and you know we were everybody was toning back their patrols i know we're budgeted for nine thousand but how, how close are we to that nine thousand at this point sweet uh right now i don't have a complete report from finance but we're we're um we had the you know several months of um, you know roughly nine hundred dollars a month of fees, so we do want to be a little cautious. Uh -huh. I don't think we're very good. I don't think we're going to you know burn the bank here. But what we're trying, I don't know that we want on say Trolley Road to be doing you know thirty one days you know thirty days a month uh, of fees coming in. So we probably have to if anything. We could probably be doing a little more warden work in other beds. Uh, we, we just seem to be completely committed to Trolley Road. Right. And that's kind of what the other commissioner, other wardens had said. They had toned back yeah. because they were scared of budgeting and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. We told them that, and that really imbalanced. Right. We told them keep with the patrols that they need to do at the other places, and we would make everything work and tone down trolley road and as what, well. happens, what happens as a result is that all the other areas are essentially unpatrolled because of that correct correct so. <coughs> okay well we're, i think that's something we definitely want to keep an eye on but it sounds like we've had to talk with the right people and to move forward with that. It may be worth during the off season that we do have a separate wardens meeting to discuss, you know, these calendaring and coverage uh, as we, you know, come around to 2021. Okay, I definitely agree with that. Make sure we're still all on the same page with the wardens guidelines and. Right, we, we did have yep. back in June, I think it was, but worth the, worth the You were a little broken up there, Bob, for me. Yeah, me too. All right. Um, we had the we did have a wardens meeting in June, and we did, we discussed this. I don't think we did scheduling quite as much as much as the wardens guidelines. Right. So I think. But you know, it's the worth. Well, we'll definitely want to put some scheduling in, so it doesn't get out of balance. You know, we can rein it in and keep it balanced. Agreed. I think that's that's probably the best way to to, to put it. Okay. Agreed. Do we have anything else with wardens? Nothing here. No. Okay. Um, recreation, as Peter was bringing up earlier, um, we need, uh, I think, better communication and better receiving of our license fees and stubs from the vendors. Um, I think Peter and I got a text earlier today that somebody who had been picking up like Captain Morgan's suddenly couldn't and I wasn't able, Peter and I weren't able to make it there on time. And uh, so I think we want to get that structured better where if you're responsible, it's definitely like during the busy summertime, you're checking in with the vendors monthly, uh, making sure they have licenses to sell, picking up receipts and payables so that we can budget and forecast appropriately. Uh, so I think maybe when we have more everybody here, we can make sure everybody's up with their responsibilities and who their vendors are, if they're responsible for certain vendors and 
you know, if you know you have to go before the meeting, maybe do it the week before the meeting instead of the day of or that kind of thing. So, or if you can't go, let us know a week ahead of time so we can try and get schedule somebody else to go. We all have busy schedules with work and family and, you know, being somewhat more restrictive with COVID and stuff. So I think we need to concentrate on that going forward also. Do you have anything to add to that, Peter? No, I just think that we, we agree upon responsibilities and if anyone and inevitably there are things that come up, you, we just need advance notice and the individual has the responsibility to pick up licenses, is responsible to ensure someone else does it in their stead if they're not available and we get them over so that we can record them and report them uh, prior to the meeting. You know, pretty basic. We just have to get a little more um, probably structured emphasis on this it up a little bit. So, okay. Does anybody have anything they want to add to that or thoughts on that? Oh. Uh, I, think, I think it's if we sort of make you know, specific assignments as to who's going to go see which vendor, then, uh, you know, it, it'll just be a little smoother. It's just sort of the, you know, the, I was supposed to go, but it's not specifically my responsibility. Um, fact is not really you know obviously it's it, it's uh things are falling through the by the wayside right i don't think we're missing sales it's just getting them timely is will be more helpful for forecasting and budgeting right okay uh so we move move on to water sampling the water sampling is good we are up to date um, as of October 1st, uh, we are good all the way up, actually all the way up into October. Mike Bohan and I did a, an APC run last Sunday, I think it was. Um, and yeah, we are current. So, um, we're actually catching up on the APC runs a little bit as well. So right. water, as far as I know, uh, the samples have all been good. I have not heard any, uh, any negative reports from uh, the BOA. Okay, I think we have a good rain event scheduled for Friday into Saturday. Yeah, right. I heard so that might be a good. Bob, isn't you coping good? Is Indian coping good, Bob? Indian coping good? Yes, as far as I know. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, they, they, yeah. I'll, I'll mention something afterwards. Did some finish the construction out there. Okay. Okay. Well, good job keeping up with that. I, yeah, oh, yes, very good job. Yeah. I think it's good getting Mike up to speed on that. Uh, you know, Mike's been a lifetime resident of Guilford and boating in Guilford his whole life. Uh, you know, I've been out on a boat many times with him in my life, so I have confidence in his boating skills and knowledge of the area, so I think that he, that's a good asset. Yeah, absolutely. He was, uh, he was completely fine on the boat, comfortable, knew where he was going, knew, knew very well, so. Okay. Uh, the boat, I don't have anything to report on it. I don't know if you do, Bob, or? Um, no, that's just, I mean, the, it's with the brand new motor. I mean, are we? it was in for service back in September or sometime just for the hour service and back in the water again okay. uh, and it's fine um, no issues um, it's going to be I think about time to put it out again in a month or so but uh, we'll cross that bridge when the time comes okay uh, we will move down to stocking we did do a stocking after voting at the last meeting we stocked 52 and a half or 53 and a half bags. Uh, we're supposed to get be getting another one from Chris. We're waiting on weather. Uh, so depending on when we get that, that will go to the first stocking went to Great Harbor. The second one will go to the other areas. That's how we've been breaking it down. So we're just waiting on that next stocking for that. Uh, for seating, 
I will hand it over to Bob. I think he's been contacting ARC up on the Cape. And maybe yeah. Can... Yeah, I spoke with Rick uh, a week or two ago, and they are ready to go as soon as we p we pick a date. They need uh, four or five days and you know advance notice just to kind of get out and sort through and, and you know, get the, the correct size clams that we're looking for. So I had told him at the time that it would be sometime in the end of October. So sometimes in the next two weeks, um, I don't know if we want to talk about a potential date now to do it, uh, where we have some volunteers and people are available. And then uh, just, you know, go up that morning. It's a relatively short drive, you know, go up early in the morning. We can pick them up and then bring be back in Guilford by about noontime, probably. Okay. I think tentatively we had said the week of the 26th, the tides looked better. Yeah, I remember that. Um, I'm just trying to look at my schedule. As of right now, I have the 26th open and the 28th open of that week. Yeah, let me my calendar right now it's monday and wednesday yeah i have both days off as of right now too okay why don't, we aim, if tw why don't we shoot for the 26th okay and we'll try and round up volunteers all right, right i should be, i should be available on the 26th all right if we and most importantly is john hall's availability because he his boat does half the work so if he's available or not. Okay. Well, I think we we could always find another boat, I'm sure, also. Okay. I know there's a couple I could jump on. Uh, at least two that I could grab if need be. Yeah, and I have, I have some people that, that uh, friends of friends kind of thing, you know, that are, are willing to, to to volunteer to help throw the, the sea clams in the water. So I think maybe as far as uh, just having hands, I can probably get one or two people. Okay. So we're gonna shoot for the 26th. Uh, can you reach out to ARC, see if that works for them? Yep, I'll call them tomorrow morning. And then we can, you know, start sending out the emails, confirming with people who's available and that kind of thing. Good. Let's make that. Well, I want to make well, sure they're okay with doing it on a Monday after a weekend. Doesn't it depend on the tides also what what the tide, we need high tide, correct? Right. And that tide, that week, high tide was midday, I believe. Okay. All right. Okay, we looked good. at it earlier. Okay. I'll take a quick right now just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that was okay. Well, we'll jump to finance while you're looking that up. I have a report from the town, which is um, not a final statement. So the fiscal year beginning July uh, through September of 2020, we have total revenues of $16,510, expenses only of 1,673. Uh, we do not have the September expenses posted, and I've, I've come to learn that the July uh, expenses that we recorded were posted into the last fiscal year, to so the, the June calendar month. So I've asked the town for, a, as soon as they have available, a final uh, statement for the prior fiscal year. Uh, however, the fund balance that we have at, uh, at this point, based on the September report from uh, the finance department shows us with a fund balance of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars eighty one hundred and fifty thousand eighty six dollars so we continue to be in good um, financial stead okay it sounds like that fund keeps growing which is good yep all right we'll move down to uh, special projects uh, nothing to report. Okay. Nothing here. Uh, signs? Signs are okay. Okay. Uh, website? 
Do you have anything on that, uh, Peter, or is it kind of? I, I, I will mention as, as we get to the licenses which are being printed, uh, I did add, the licenses do have the town website. I did add our uh, Guilford Shellfish Commission Facebook page to the uh, printing of the licenses, that, so that will now be on them. Okay. So we'll have two, two sources, the website and our Facebook page as a resource for uh, the community. Okay. You know, the, Sounds good. Uh, let's go to updates. I think, oh, sorry, I'll jump back to the website real quick. When we do the seating, we want to make sure we get some pictures for the page. Those seem to go over big, showing that we're putting back the license revenues and all that the way we're supposed to. And people like seeing the baby clams being distributed. So we want to make sure who is, as we're involved with that, that we try and get some good pictures of, of that. Uh, Land Acquisition Commission. Okay, we had a meeting last month. Uh, we're gonna take a walk this Thursday at five o'clock along Hill Road. We're checking out some property there. That's about it. Okay. Uh, C Grant. Okay, I got a. Uh, I don't know if any, any other people have gotten an email about the vibro that was uh, infecting the water. People got sick on that. Did you guys get that at all? Uh, something at the, towards the end of September. I didn't get an email. I actually got notice, like a, a newspaper article or something about there were a, a number of cases this year, which was far number the normal number of cases for Vibrio. Yeah, that's right. I had an email. They, they wanted to kind of a detail. If anybody wants to email, I could send it off to them. Yeah, I, I mean, we already notify them when they buy their licenses. There's a handout, a printout of it. The cases are always down in the Western Sound. It doesn't influence us. Yeah, they had this had to do with the infections that people were getting from cuts. They went in with cuts and they were getting infected themselves. Right. But I think we just... You know, yeah. if anybody, if the public yeah. asks, you just take kind of take the high road and say, it's a known thing. It's always been there. Just yeah. lose, you know, some media attention this year. And we hand out a pamphlet every year with your license about it. So it shouldn't, okay. if you're actually reading those pamphlets, it shouldn't be news to you. You know, shouldn't be, you know, mm -hmm. concerned. So right. not a, okay. I think it just got some more media attention this year. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Harbor Management Commission. Keith's not here, but I haven't heard anything from anything. Not anything either. No. Uh, docks, moorings, other potentially impacting projects. Well, they, this uh, they've not finished the water line down by Indian Cove area. They've put down uh, gravel. And stuff they've really cleaned the road up nice and it's uh they use it to turn around some park some more cars down there if anybody goes claiming they can park more cars now and also can uh turn school buses around now too it's a nice uh, stone area down there now okay that's good there's no more erosion uh, the, the erosion controls still in place they're still holding it for a while okay <clears throat> any other projects anybody's heard about or seen or questions on uh, take a drive by the uh, the Indian Cove area, and it seems like there's a there's a, some trucks that are being like parked there or stored there. I don't know. It's not the construction. Yeah, they've been off and on. They've been. Um, I think they've been mentioned. They've been talked to about that parking their trucks here because you know it's trying to convenience because they're still working on the other part of the road uh, towards uh, Sagem's Head area, and every once in a while they leave a truck there, but they've, they've been moving, telling them to move them along. Yeah, as long as it's not a permanent fixture. No, it isn't. No, it's not permanent. It's supposed to be. The, the contract is essentially finished. They shouldn't be parking the trucks here, but they've been noted to, notified to move them when they do park there. Okay. Uh, with that, we'll move on to old business. The shellfish management plan is going to be December, January topic when they get the reports, the state gets the reports done. Uh, I'm going to reach out to the state this week or before the next meeting and just confirm, you know, make sure we're in good standing and try and find out 
if we are getting moved up to an inch and a half rainfall closure versus one inch. Uh, anything else they foresee as changes with that plan? Yeah, that's been in the works for a while. It would be something finalized. Yeah. yeah, last year they did like Madison and somewhere else, and supposedly this year is us. Supposedly. That's why I'm going to check in and make sure. Okay. So now selling of the old boat and motor, or old boat motor. Not the boat, just the motor. Right. <laughs> I, I can report on that. Let me um, share some information. Uh, hold on, please. So we had um, we had authorization to uh, put the old motor out to bid, and um, we did that through the town. The uh, I also uh, got approval from the town to establish a minimum value of fifteen hundred dollars on the bids, and then I posted it on. Facebook marketplace to give us more coverage and put it on a few sites with uh, related to uh, boat uh, boats motors um, throughout Connecticut. We received uh, at the bid deadline two bids, one for $1,689 and the high bid was 2001. Process is uh, for uh, the Guilford Shelters Commission to vote to accept the high bid, which I recommend. Uh, and then based upon that, uh, the approval of the commission, I have drafted a, uh, let me find that, a uh, letter that I will submit, oh, sorry, hold on. I will submit to the uh, Board of Selectmen for them to vote to approve, to accept the high bid and sell the motor. Um, I think their next meeting is Monday, though I'm not sure if this will hit the agenda because there's a special meeting uh, associated with next Monday's Board of Selectmen meeting. Sorry, let me find the, uh, find the letter. Hold on, please. Hold on. Oops, sorry. Thank you for your diligence on this, Peter. I know we've been sort of laying with this motor for a year now. Good to finally get this thing sold. I'm not sure if you're seeing the letter right now. No, I'm seeing you. Now I'm seeing you. Yeah, hold on, please. Let me make sure I find this. Um, it's not allowing me to uh, hold on, please. <laughs> Here we go. So, based on uh, the Guilford Shel Shelters Commission acceptance of the high bid, I will, with your approval, uh, I will send this letter to the uh, Board of Selectmen. Uh, and um, correct the typo here, obviously, and um, we inform them that we've approved the the offer and asked the Board of Selectmen to accept that. Uh, and uh, then we would arrange for uh, the conveyance of the motor to uh, the uh, high bidder and the, the funds would then be directed into our our accounts. So I would I would ask that we um, Proposed to accept the high, high bid and allow uh, this letter to be uh, sent to the Board of Selectmen. I'll second. Is that you second all? All in favor? Second. Aye. 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 Good job on that, Peter. Yes, yes. thank you, Peter. Thank you for thank getting you. that. Uh, like I said, it was languishing a long time. All right. Uh, do we have any new business? Anybody else want to bring up any topics, anything, or are we moving on to item 10? The only thing I'll mention is uh, I did solicit from Alan some um, input on the, the colors for the new licenses. They've, they've been ordered. They are a very uh, light, um, bright lime for the resident and it more of a like light magenta uh very bright uh for non-residents so I'm, I'm optimistic we'll get those toward the end of the month beginning of november okay all right thank you for also working with that 
All right. With that, I'll say item 10. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Second that motion. All in. Oh, Judy, did you have something? I see Judy saying one minute. Okay. Did we? I missed it because you were all talking maybe at the same time, but did we actually accept? This? Was there a vote on the, on the uh, bills? To pay the bills? I just want to double check. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> I think it was. I think I, I made the motion. To accept and it was I John. Think I, second, I, I seconded it. Second yep, I see it there. I just okay. I just didn't want to look back if I didn't need to. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we'll proceed with ten. I think we had a motion to adjourn and a second. Mm -hmm. And all in favor. Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank okay. you. All right. Thank you. Everybody have a good month. Thank you all. Thank you. Good night. If anything comes up.